Bird, and he disagrees that the semen could have been deposited up to two days prior to the murder. He said various indicators show that it was a bunch of super They said that my spag ball is really good. I give it a delish 9.7. And she doesn't eat mints, usually. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that's I'm about. I'm going to give it an 8. What's the two points for? Mints. <laughs> okay, that's fair. You know what? That's fair. I'll cop that. I swear they're not burnt. I don't hire you. Like well, how is hot. how is that one not burnt and then the others are? Good morning. My camera is gonna die. I'm on my way to the pharmacy. I need to get a tablet and then uh, medication, and then I'm on my way to the hairdressers for a blow wave. Then I've got to come home. Organize my outfits because I have a shoot with Talia this afternoon, my assistant, to shoot some content for Instagram, which is exciting. I'm excited to be pumping out <clears throat> fun, creative, fresh content again. Oh my god. <laughs> that pose is like deja vu from Sunday. <laughs> Don't mention Sunday. How excited are you for this meal right now? I've never seen, I've never seen anything better in my life. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. So we're on my camera, my phone. Back camera, though, main camera. So hopefully the quality's okay. I can't see shit. Uh, I left my vlogging camera at home, but I am heading in to see Yacinta at Anti Age Me. She's the one that does my injections. So I spoke on Instagram the other day, I have to be quick because my appointment is in one minute. I spoke on Instagram the other day about how I'm starting to really feel, not necessarily the pressures from society, but just I'm starting to notice my age and the lines and I'm starting to feel like I'm looking older. And I know there is nothing wrong with that. And however you choose to age and what you choose to do is right for you but that's what I'm actually struggling with that's the internal struggle is I don't know what way I want to go I don't know if I want to age gracefully and just do the random Botox here and there and a brow lift or if I want to start to get filler under my eyes or like Botox under my eyes to help with the wrinkles and like Botox to stop my crow's feet I don't know what I want to do because there's this pressure to age gracefully as a woman 
whilst also looking young and beautiful and eternally youthful forever. So it's a first world problem. I know that it's very vain and superficial, but it is what it is. And I'm, I want to talk to you guys about it because the response I got on Instagram was huge. Um, a lot of you feel the same way. And so I promised that I would share my experience and vlog it and what I do decide to do. Um, so I'm going to go in and talk to Yacinta. She's incredible. I know I've talked about her on here before. She's so informative. She never pressures me into anything. She actually talks me out of a lot of shit. Um, so she's someone I trust very, very much. And I would never recommend anyone that I didn't genuinely use. I pay for my services here. Uh, so she is based in Bulara in Sydney. Highly recommend. But we're going to go because I'm running late. Obviously, I've just turned 28 and I'm just seeing all these lines over here. And like, and you drink heaps of water, don't you? Not as much as I should, but I could definitely increase my water intake. So basically, under there, we do skin boosters. So skin boosters are a really thin hyaluronic acid. Yeah. Um, and basically, like, it looks like a million beads of sun in the eye because they're real superficial lumps. But yeah. And after a day or two, they smooth out and they help thicken the skin. Yeah. Like amino acids and stuff. Is that like filler? Yeah, so it's a really thin filler. Because the other thing is I know that filler is prone to migrate and I don't want it dropping. Not necessarily. It depends on the type of filler and the placement and where it's placed. Yeah. But that one, it's literally just in the skin. So it spreads out like a water. So it's just there to hydrate, brighten. How long does it last for? The skin. Not that long because it's so thin. Maybe like three months. Is it expensive? It's 500. Her eye. No, no, for the whole, for the whole thing. Okay. And where does that go? Like, oh, will that do crow's feet as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's such a bad. Okay, so today, what we did, do you want to point out where we put injections today? We did the forehead. The forehead? The frown. The frown. The eyes. Is the eyes? There's a masseter. And the masseters. So the masseter. The masseters is to stop me grinding my teeth. Yeah. And that's what slimmed out my jaw so much. We, this was a new one today. We put Botox here to help a little bit with the crow's feet. But what's the thing we're going to do on Friday, Cole? So we're going to do skin boosters under the eyes. Okay, so that is what we're going with. Obviously, I'll vlog it. It'll all be in the same vlog. So skin boosters under here. And then we just did my normal brow lift, frown, and Botox. Wait. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited. Yes. Well, I'm not excited for Friday, but I'm excited for Friday. Yeah. Hi guys, happy Thursday. I have not been able to find my camera for days since I shot content on Tuesday because it was bloody in one of the content bags. Um, but I am about to start getting ready. I have a Sephora showcase at, it starts at one, but I'm gonna get there at around 1.30. I think you just pop in at any time. And then tonight I'm going to watch Kevin Hart um, Oscar and I are going together, so that'll be so much fun. I'm just cooking up some pasta to have some leftover spag bowl for lunch. Um, but I need to be quick because I am running a bit late. I still need to like do my makeup, but I might just do a super quick natural look. Uh, trained this morning, caught up with Tristan, went for a walk with Stace, had a croissant it's been a really nice really nice morning so far 
I don't know if that lens was just super dirty, but... Maybe I might start doing my base while that keeps cooking, because that's still got a while. So excited. I'm on my way to pick up Oscar. We're going to watch Kevin Hart tonight. Um, it's out in Homebush near where Harry Styles, right next door to Harry Styles. Harry Styles concert was. Uh, it was like a last minute spontaneous decision. He just messaged me today and was like, should we go to Kevin Hart tonight? There were still tickets available. Uh, and I think we're on the ground. Like I think we've got really good tickets. So yeah, I'm picking him up. We're gonna grab something to eat. Um, the concert concert. The show isn't until 8. It's 6.30 now and it takes about half an hour to get there. But oh my gosh, we're so freaking excited. We, I can't believe we, we both said that we sort of really, we missed the announcement of him coming to Australia. Like neither of us knew he was coming. Um, and the weather is awful. I mean, it's kind of like cozy, it's rainy. So it's fun to like wear pants and wear a bit of a winter outfit because it's 20 degrees. But kind of annoying that it's rainy like I have a puffer in my car which is a bit absurd but guys look it's a rainbow but it's like it's rated what's the time you see this is gonna be an absolute disaster <laughs> fuck so hold on <laughs> I just want to understand why Kevin Hart has no patience because I'm fucking fuming. <laughs> so we're in the parking garage, we're leaving, and it is fucking. Is it Medlam or Bedlam? Bedlam. Pardon? Do you not know that expression? No. I think it's Bedlam. Medlam. Bed I've it's never Bedlam. Heard that in my life. It's absolute fucking Bedlam in here. It's mayhem. And I've been on zero kilometres. Do I have to run over that to pay? Is <laughs> and we also haven't. Yeah, level three, I told you, it's fucking level three. Jump that. Where am I going to go from there? <laughs> oh no, we're, we're risking it for a chocolate biscuit. Do you reckon because we'll just be holding up traffic, they'll just let us through? Well... Oh no, we've risked it too far, Oscar. I'm committed to you. No! Oscar, this was fucking your idea! Surely, no, surely I can just drive around <laughs> to pay it. No, there's a guy there. I'm not gonna be able to pay there. Yeah, we can't go anywhere anyway, can we? Oh, I see some. Is there somewhere to pay? Yeah. Are you gonna leave me without a ticket? This is like leaving me at the supermarket! Oh my god, there's two cars in front of me. <laughs> yeah. I could have fucking paid there, you joking? Oh my god, can you pay? Get fucked, can you? Oh, thank you, have a good night. Oh, no joke. Well, at least you used it. Oh my god. I was literally rolling, cars were honking me. Dressed. Um, oh my gosh, you need to put in. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> We've gotten over one, nine, there you go. What do you think of Kevin Hart? Oh, unbelievable. So fucking good. Mate, I've just disappeared into the darkness. <laughs> I look, my teeth look white. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, no, he was so good. Even though, like, the first acts were really good. Hate women, though. 
but it was so good. And you couldn't <laughs> take your phones in. They put your phones in these fucking stupid little pouches. And if you got caught with your phone, they kicked you out. To be fair. Because did you notice that couple didn't come back in? Yeah, they got kicked out 100%. Yeah. Like, holy fuck. They're, so if you're going to get... Oh, you won't see this by the time you're, um, you're going. But hopefully you don't take your phone in and get kicked out. Because, yeah, a couple right in front of us got kicked out and they did not come back. Am I going, do you reckon, straight? Right. Yeah, straight. Straight and left. Uh, okay. Do you know what? I've literally got about five hours until I have to get up to go to work. Yeah, Oscar's going to work at 4.30am. Uh, this is perfect. <laughs> Why did I pay so much for this fucking camera for it to not focus on my face? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's currently 10 to 11, and Oscar, ha Oscar has to wake up at 4.30. The things I do to keep her happy. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. Should have seen it. It was like dead silent during Kevin's act, partly, and I was trying to open my Kit Kat bar, and all you could hear was my plastic unwrapping the, the chocolate bar. <laughs> Perfect. Baby, baby. Okay, it's late. It's like 12.30. I got my pimple cream on. I dropped Oscar home. I was I dropped home at like 11.30. I am ready for bed. I'm so tired. I have little Miss Honey there. I go to bed. See you in the morning. Um, Put your hand next to me. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I've brought James to my favorite supermarket, Parisi's. He's just as mind blown as I expected him to be. Your sausage sizzle up, your sandwich, just like fresh rolls. So. Energy left by. It's an hour by hour. Mm. So good. Hey guys, um, happy Friday. I have just gotten dinner delivered. I was meant to have a girls' night, also, was potentially meant to go out, I was meant to have a dinner. I cancelled it all because my hay fever is just killing me. So I got a Porto's, I got corn, a burger, and the chicken, crispy chicken tenders in like the lemon seasoning, and it's so good. And I've put Deadpool on, well, Deadpool 2, because I watched Deadpool 1 the other day. And I'm gonna have a really chilled night. I'm, I'm still organizing my wardrobe and folding all the washing, so that's keeping me busy as well. You gotta put, yeah. Weirdest. Oh, we need the chalky. Is it chocolate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that texture it does? Socks and I got them yesterday and we're very unsure. It kind of tastes like Nutella. Because it says Turkish delight, but Turkish delight's like jelly. That's like chewy. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like them. It was a fail. It tastes like a lolly. Well, it's, because I thought Turkish was always rose flavored, but Turkish is more like a lolly texture. No, I don't like it. Yeah. The texture was off. 
Good morning guys, happy Saturday. So I have Cassie driving me to my appointment. I'm getting my under eye filler today. She's just coming for some moral support. Yes. Because I'm shitting bricks. I'm not shitting bricks, I'm not nervous. I'm more excited than I am nervous because I'm excited to see the results and see how it looks. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I think it's like 15 needles under each eye. Wait, what? Mm. 15? Yeah. Like right here? I'll show you what it Was will it look like, like afterwards. Was it like on the side too? I mean the before photos. That's what it'll look like. All those dots are injection points. It looks like a disease. <laughs> Yeah, it looks a bit red hot. I feel like everyone will be different, but. Yeah. And what, how, they'll be, be for like today, but. Surely. Today and tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Ice packs are on. <laughs> it's game day, baby. To stop you sweating bullets. Should see how clammy I get. <laughs> You're good, Cass. Nice big deep breaths. Will it get worse? Nah. You can't even see it. Beautiful. What's this? So this is good for bruising. Arnica cream? Yeah, it's got arnica in there. It just helps to soothe it. Hi guys, happy... What day is it today? I think it's Saturday? <clears throat> yeah, I think it's Saturday. Uh, I have had a pretty cruisy day. I got my injections this morning, obviously. And then I've just chilled out on the couch. I had a really early dinner. I had dinner at like five o'clock. I had Betty's burgers. And now I'm on my way to the boys' house. Andy's home. We're gonna go to the movies. We're gonna watch Creed 3. We're hoping that you don't need to have seen Creed 1 and 2 for this one to make sense. Like, obviously, it's ideal, but they're predominantly standalone movies. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna go to the movies. He's gonna grab some dinner because obviously I'm an early bird and have. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I've just woken up kind of like 15 minutes ago it's quarter past eight i'm gonna go for a quick walk and then i'm gonna meet the girls for a swim cheers cheers butthole huh? mm. Mm -mm. Mm. oh my goodness i don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the aircon just walked back up the hill from Bondi, back up to North Bondi. On my way home now, left the markets. I'm so full. I had an empanada, crepes, a donut, falafel with hummus. Oh my gosh, so much food. So it was nice to walk back up the hill and kind of burn a little bit of the heaviness away. Not burn off the food, because I don't believe in that, but just I was feeling a little bit <clears throat> full and bloated, so it's nice to move my body a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and finish doing my wardrobe. I finally started putting the folded clothes back in the folded area and I've swapped the wardrobes. So in my bedroom, that wardrobe is bigger and that was originally what was holding my summer wardrobe. Whereas my winter wardrobe obviously takes up more because it's bigger. So I've swapped them. Now the spare bedroom holds my summer stuff. So I'm just reorganizing that and, like, and it's a stunning day today. It's like 24 degrees, it feels a little bit hotter than 24, but it's a beautiful day today. Okay, so this is now my winter, my summer wardrobe. So up there I have my denim shorts, skirts. These are all like crop tops, cropped t-shirts, longer 
shirts and then t-shirts in here I'm gonna put jumpsuits and sweatshorts like tracksuit shorts and then in here it's all still a work in progress but hello honey um, I'm tired now when I go to bed here I have my tracksuit sets that are shorts and sweaters then I have sweaters that don't have matching trackies, so they're just like random graphic sweaters and then random trackies that don't have matching sweaters. Then here are my tracksuit sets. Uh, then down here are my jeans. So I've got my black jeans, white jeans, and then my blue denim. And then down there is all my cargo pants, all my print jeans and corduroy pants. And then down there will go my longer skirts. In here, nothing has changed. It's still like socks, activewear, all my stack stuff, and then pajamas. All my handbags are up there. And then this is like all my hanging stuff. It's all color coordinated. So this is all my sweaters and long sleeve tops, obviously, as you can see. And then down here are my sweaters that can't be hung because the hangers will um, stretch them. And here I have like my skivvies, turtlenecks, things like that. Um, and like my cashmere things. Why isn't it focusing? Yeah. And more bags up there. What's a work in progress? Uh, I'm excited. It's looking, it's coming together. The majority of it has been put away. But like I said, I'm going to bed. Stay tuned for next week because I'm doing a complete revamp of my body. I've been eating like an absolute gremlin. I have not been treating my body like a temple. Um, I'm definitely feeling super sluggish. And, I'm, and it's purely just because I'm not taking care of myself. And I want to change that because... Like I said, I just feel shit, sluggish, gross. I'm not training great. I'm not sleeping well. I know I'm not taking good care of my body. I'm eating so much sugar, so much junk, so much crap. And when I clean my diet up and I go back to eating lots of veggies, fruit, and lots of fresh things, not so much sugar, I train better, I sleep better, I function better. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for next week's vlog because I'm just going to bring you along in how I'm making little changes to like hit these sugar cravings. Um, and also I'll probably do a, the, my first giveaway. I'll announce it in next week's vlog. But anyway, that's all guys. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.